spin by Tadeo Abigail Ray 10. Welcome to history. We're going to review some things we've learned from our previous lesson. Madison scorekeeper for the girls, Jackson scorekeeper for the boys, first two Cadence and Presley. What was one of the first things Columbus and his sailors did when they stepped on shore? Try to find gold. Before that. Anyone? Kyra. Carson? They um, for God. Yeah. They, they, um... they were glad, but they thanked God. You may be seated. Next two, Jimmy and Emily. What does the name San Salvador mean? Anyone? Carson? Um, Hayden? I forgot. The name would be Holy Savior. Class repeat. Holy Savior. Yes. Next two, Carly and Arthur. What did Columbus call the people he saw? <laughs> Girls were here faster. Adriana and Gage. One thing that the Indians did not bring to Columbus and his men was what? Gold. Gold is correct. Next two. So Amaya and Gage. What caused Columbus's crew to complain? That they were not finding land. They weren't finding line, land. I will give it to you. The other one was because they wanted the riches and they were not finding the riches that they had hoped to find. So boys do get one point next to, so Aiden and Tyra. How many total voyages did Columbus make? Six. Not six. Three. Not three. Anyone? Get, uh, Jacob? One. No, Gage? Sixty. Emily? Two. Jimmy? Three. Four. The answer is four. You may be seated. No points next to Morgan and Carson. Month and day, what does Columbus say? Uh, October 12th. Girls are correct. Get that point next to. What did the sailors no longer need to be afraid of after exploring with Columbus? The Sea of Darkness. Yes, boys were here faster. Next to. True or false, the people of Spain were pleased with Columbus's discovery. False. False. Kathleen is correct. Next to. What do we call a group of people ruled by their own country who settle in a netherland? Colonists. Boys. Nice job, Asa. Next to. What do we call the men from wealthy families who came to explore the new world? Sailors. Anyone? Emily? Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Girls have that point. Next to Emily and Jimmy. What do we call settles in a colony? The person is called a? Settler. In a colony. Anyone? Tyra? This? It's a colonist. Class repeat? Colonist. Yes. Next to Carly and Arthur. Name one of the English ships that came to the New World. Godspeed. Yes, Godspeed. The others would be Susan Constant and Discovery. Next two. Who was the Indian leader of many Indian tribes? Powhatan. Powhatan is correct. Next two. What do we call, Gage and Amaya, the name of the Indian princess? Pocahontas. Yes, Amaya has it. Next two. What was the first successful English settlement in the New World? Anyone? Emily? Jamestown. Jamestown is correct. Next two, so Morgan and Carson. Tell me the captain, who was the English captain, in charge of the ships that brought the colonists to Jamestown. Captain Newport. Yes, boys have it. Next two. Who was Jamestown named after? King James. That's right. Yes, both teams a point. Next two. Give me one problem with the location of the Jamestown settlement. There was a disease by mosquitoes. Yes, and I will give that to you because of the marshland. So the disease came because of the mosquitoes, and the mosquitoes came because of the marshy, that wet land. Next two. What do we call the disease that was carried by those mosquitoes? Malaria. Yes, Asa, a point for the boys. Next two, Cadence and Presley. Who saved John Smith's life? Yes, Presley has that correct question correct, a point. Tell me one thing John Smith did to help the people at Jamestown. He made the gardens. Yes, 
or he encouraged them to plant with gardens. They didn't want to listen to his advice, but he did encourage them to try. He also traded food with the Indians, and he kept peace with the Indians. John Smith's rule, he who will not work shall not eat, came from where? Anyone? Jimmy? The Bible. The Bible, yes. Boys get a point, Adriana and Gage. What do we call the winter of 1609 to 1610? Girls, too. Lord New England. Of it. Yes. Next two. Girls have that question. Correct. Next two. Who was, the who was the captain or what was the name of the captain of the treasurer? Cap no. Cap oh. Captain. One answer. Captain. Captain. Um. Anyone? Jacob. Captain Argyle. Captain Argyle. Boys get that point. Anna and Caden. What was the name of the Indian chief who sold Pocahontas to Captain Argyle? Chief of was Captain Jaffazaz. You may get a point for remembering Jaffazaz. Next two. What was the English name given to Pocahontas? Anyone? Emily? Rebecca. Rebecca is correct. Next two. Yes, this will be the last question. Who married Pocahontas? No. John Rolfe. Boys have that point. So let's take a look at the score. And how many points do we have for the girls? Madison? How many? 14. 14. And for the boys? Eight. So the girls won by one. Girls, you may give yourself a silent cheer. Well done. Scorekeepers, thank you. You may return to your seat. And at this time, we're going to quietly prepare for a quiz. should be under your desk. Write your name at the top. Now let's look at the first section, fill in the blank. Choose the correct answer from the box below and write it in the blank. So looking at the box below, follow along as I read the choices. Charles II, Colony, Discovery, James I, Jamestown, Newport, Pocahontas, Powhatan, Santa Maria, and Well. Now, there are 10 words written here. We only have six questions. Four of them are not going to be used. And no answer is going to be used more than once. So once an answer is used, you may draw a neat line through it because we're not going to use it again. So look at number one. The three ships that sailed together to the New World were the Susan Constant, the Godspeed, and the... Find that answer from the box, write it on the line, then you may cross it off. Now let's look at number two. John Smith helped the people of when he traded with the Native Americans for food. Find that answer from the box, write it on the line, and then you may cross it off. Then look at sentence three. You may read sentence three, answer the question from the box, then do sentence four, five, and six as well. Do not go on to the next section yet.
section, multiple choice. Write the letter of the correct answer in the blank. Number seven, the man who said, he who will not work shall not eat was who? Write that letter in the blank. Number two, 10 B, exchange back. If you're not sure on something, put a question by your name. Put your quiz materials away. Jackson, will you turn off the lights for us? We're going to review a couple things on our map. As we take a look at this map, we'll notice where these continents are located and where these oceans are located. So for the first one that we live on, the continent of North America, that's in that teal greenish color. Below us, we have the continent of South America. South America. Now, over between South America and Europe and Africa, we have the body of water called what, Emily? The Atlantic Ocean. Good. Then we have Europe, then we have Africa. What is this large continent beside them? Tyra? <laughs> Help her out. Aiden? Asia. Yes. What is it? Asia. Yes, it is Asia. Then we have the Arctic Ocean. Between Africa and Australia, what ocean do we have, Jacob? Indian. Yes, the Indian Ocean. Now down here, what continent do we have? Cadence? Antarctica. Good. And then beside Antarctica, what ocean do we have? Gage? Southern. The Southern Ocean. Then over here on the west of North America and South America, what ocean do we have, Presley? Pacific Ocean. Yes. Now we're going to take a look at our map skills book and complete map skills number one. This map skill has a similar map where we're going to fill in some continents and oceans. So you may take out that map skill sheet along with a pencil and some colored pencils, and let's take a look at these directions on this page. For the directions, the first thing we notice Five continents are already labeled. We're going to label the other two. Point to Africa, point to Europe, point to Asia, point to Australia, point to Antarctica. What are the two continents that we still need to label? Jimmy? Australia. Not Australia. That one's already labeled. Jackson? America. North America. And what other continent do we still need to label, Morgan? Antarctica. Not Antarctica. Anna? South America. Yes, yeah, so label North America and label South America. Now the next two things we're going to take a look at for our directions. The next part, we're going to color the continents light green and the oceans blue. Name all of the oceans that we are going to color blue. Asa. Arctic, Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Pacific, Southern. Say that last one, Southern. Southern. Yes, yeah, so you have Pacific, Atlantic, Arctic, Indian, and Southern. You will call, color all of those oceans, and then the rest of the area, the continents, you will go ahead and color green. You may begin doing so.
students watching, you're going to go ahead and finish coloring and labeling these continents and these oceans.